Indeed I am. Think about this if you can remember that far back. Thursday, the 21st of February, 1990. An iconic date in South Africa, of course, the date upon which Nelson Mandela was released from prison. Now, after 27 years behind bars, he finally walked out of the Victor Fristal prison, and Mark Peters took the famous photo of Mandela raising his fist as he tasted freedom for the very first time in almost three decades. We had the pleasure of hosting Mark on Expresso this morning. It's great to have, have, have a man of, of, of your stature here with us who's had such an Thank intimate you. relationship with uh, former President Nelson Mandela. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, yourself. Thank you for having me on the show. Brilliant. brilliant. I mean, I, I can't even imagine the kind of life you had, almost leading it side by side with Madiba, having taken some of the most iconic uh, pictures, uh, you know, of, of his career. Where did this all start? How did you even land up with that iconic photo? Well, the day finally arrived when Mr. Mandela was going to be released from prison. And believe it or not, I overslept. You actually overslept, overslept on that day? Yeah. It's about, I woke up, I put the television on, and I thought he had gone. But he hadn't gone. So I uh, Jamesy bonded it in my car to, uh, <laughs> to the prison. And I got about a kilometre from the prison, and there was a roadblock. And there was a white policeman there, captain. And I walked up to him and I said to him, can I go through? And, yeah. he, and he said, no, you can't. No more. No more press allowed to go through. You're not going through. So I stuck out my hand to shake his hand, and I said to him, congratulations, you won the war. And he said to me, what war? And I said, the war between you and me. You have uh, broken my cameras, confiscated my film, thrown me in jail. They even blew up my car. I, on the other hand, photographed you chasing blacks, whipping blacks, shooting blacks, forcibly removing. And now my biggest prize is just down the road there, and he's about to walk out of prison, and I can't get there. Wow. So then he said to me, what's your name again? So I said, Mark Peters. And he said to me, Mark, it's just come over the police radio that Mr. Mandela will be walking out in 10 minutes' time. Why don't you jump in the van and you and I go witness history? That is an absolutely amazing and story. And I never, ever took his name because I'm goodness. so caught up in the moment. So he took me to the prison. All the press were on the other side with helicopters hovering about. There's, there's lots of people there. I lurked in the prison van, which I usually pretty good at lurking in prison vans. <laughs> and um, <laughs> then I saw Mr. Mandela come out and I had to get this special cover for Newsweek. Yes. Music was holding the presses for only the second time in their history. I think the first time was the end of the Second World War. Wow. So the magazine had gone to bed, but we were waiting for this cover. And people didn't want to see um, Winnie or Mandela together. They wanted to see what this man looked like. No one had really seen him for 27 years. Yes. So I managed to get, before the crowd swamped in, I managed to get three frames, one out of focus, two sharp. I mean, how stressful must that shot have been for you? Because it you knew extreme. you only had a I few had moments. A second, second, I had a second. Um, plus, I had people waiting in New York for this photograph. So then what I did, eventually, I, I knew I had it. And then the policeman escorted me to the highway, which was another nice thing he did. And I managed to get to the Argus building where the Reuters, Agence France Press, and Associated Press yes. were waiting for their photographers. But I got there first. So I processed my film, and then I went to AP, the Associated Press, and I said, look, there's the picture. You can have it, but it's special to Newsweek, which means no magazines in the world can use it that week. Yeah. And they said, great, take it. So that was the first picture to be transmitted oh, around the world as Mr. Mandela as a free man. That is absolutely incredible. And so uh, it started out as a bad day, and it ended quite a good day. Yeah? <laughs> well done on, on getting yeah. that little speech together when you had to. But you have a very special one. Uh, Huge one, A3, A3, I think the size is, personally signed by Madiba on the 16th of February 1992. Um, my office in New York wanted to interview Mr. Mandela, so I approached Mr. Mandela and he said, Absolutely, uh, but one condition. And I said, Well, what's the condition? And he said, Sunday lunch at your house. I mean, that's the kind of guy Mandela is. I mean, he's wow. a lovely man. I mean, he's just absolutely. So Mr. Mandela came to my house for Sunday lunch and what, what, did, what did you have? What did you eat for Sunday lunch? I had uh, uh, curry. Uh, he likes curry. Oh, yes. Yeah, I we... checked that out. <laughs> and you cooked I, it yourself? No, 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 I didn't cook. I'm a bachelor. I, I can't even boil an egg. But, <laughs> but the interesting thing was when he first arrived at my house, I was a little bit nervous, obviously. Yeah. I stuck out my hand to shake his hand and I said, welcome to my humble abode, Mr. Mandela. And he looked at me and he said, Mark, relax. It's a humble man coming for lunch. Wow. Wow. And then his bodyguard said to me, look, it's... 12.30, he's leaving at 3.30 on the dot. He left a quarter to seven in the evening. My yeah. goodness. Oh, wow. What you a know, story. And everybody says, what a fantastic, you had this icon, you had this famous man come to lunch. For me, having Mr. Mandela, 
Put all that aside, I had the world's most loved man for lunch. That's the way I look at it. Wow. And um, your, your signs, you, you've got a lot of collections in, in your house, uh, some of which are these uh, whites only uh, signs. So w what happened when he walked into your house and it was laden with these signs? And, uh, well, I had the Durban one. This bathing area is there for the white race only as a joke above my, my, my bathroom. And I didn't think Mr. Medellin would use my bathroom, but when he, when he, when he, when he wanted to go to the loo, it, the guest loo was full, so he came and asked me if he could go to mine. He looked up and he saw the sign, didn't say anything. Then I heard him giggling inside, and he was washing his hands. He came out and he said, I love that sign. I mean, he saw the fun of it. I mean, he knew I'm not a racist. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and the other one I just love because it's, you know, there's a black hand pointing the way to a white bar. I mean, you know, can, can you, you break, believe you know? it? Can um, you believe it? And, the, and the, the, the one of him playing with the marimba, uh, Mr. Mendel invited me to his house for lunch. Yes. Usually it was the end of there the year. Is. The end of the year party, uh, his office party. And it's, for, to me, it just shows happiness yeah. and joy. I mean, it just sums the man up. He's, you know, just, I just love that photograph. Yeah. So the collection is basically him coming out of prison, why he went to prison, and freedom. Absolutely amazing. Just quickly, I mean, from you, I've always been wanting to extract this from people that have met Madiba because I haven't had the privilege and I hope to draw something from them for, for South Africans. What did you take out of this journey with uh, Madiba? Uh, it, I just became a more humble person. You know, I, uh, I just look at life in a, in a much better way. I mean, the man just, if you're in his presence, it's just absolutely incredible. Wow. I mean, he's, especially when he's with children. Yeah, and uh, wonderful also to know that your, your collection of iconic photos will be auctioned off at the 7th South African Artists for AIDS Awareness Concert, which obviously goes to the benefit. I'm not sure we're going to auction it off there, but it'll be on display. Mm -hmm. we are, I'm looking to, to, to sell the collection, and then a chunk of money is going to go to the African Centre for AIDS, HIV AIDS, out of Stellenbosch University. Fantastic. Got to help, you know, you've got to give out. Thank you very much for joining us this morning and sharing cool. your, some of your lovely pieces with us. We really, really it's appreciate it. I feel like we are, we've been part of the journey as well, man. Look at that photo. You just want to be like, you know, on that note, I want to hold my hand up. Like, we are going to go to an ad break. Yes.